Welcome back to Awesome News TV and today we're going to first look at Atletico Madrid star Saul Niguez hails awesome midfielder Thomas Partey, he can become one of the best in the world and then we're going to look at Edu is already in advanced talks for Arsenal's third deal ahead of summer transfer window. So the first transfer headline states that Atletico Madrid star Saul Niguez hails Arsenal midfielder Thomas Partey he can become one of the best in the world. So the reports are stating that Atletico Madrid star Sao Niguez has held incredible Arsenal midfielder Thomas Partey and says his former teammate can become one of the best players in the world. Sao and Partey played alongside each other for five years in Spain before also signed the Ghanaian international last summer. Thomas Partey has endured a mixed first season at the Emirates, offering glimpses of his potential on the Miklos setter, but also spending time on the sidelines through injury. Sao believes there is a lot more to come from Thomas Partey and says he can develop into one of the best players in world football over the next few seasons. Speaking at a live score event, the La Liga star said, I think having a coach like Miklos setter at Arsenal eased things a lot for him. He knows the language and it's a culture that suits him. As a player, he's incredible and if he manages to keep this consistency, he can become one of the best in the world, honestly. I've known him since we were 16 or 17 years old and I've always felt that he was going to be a very important player, but what he has lacked is the consistency because he's capable of doing everything. He scores from out of the box, he makes ground, he steals, distributes, runs the game himself, but if he ever reads this, I would like to imagine again that mention again that he should improve his consistency. It's not enough just doing it one good game and then not preparing in three or four. He has to be more intelligent in that aspect and know what he has to do those days in which he's not performing as well. Due to a number of niggling injuries, Thomas Parsi has missed 17 games in all competitions this season and Paul Ince said earlier in the month he wanted to see more from the midfielder during the run-in. I want to see more from Thomas Partey. I want to see more, the former Manchester United and Liverpool star told Premier League Productions. At Atletico Madrid he was fantastic, getting it, breaking play up, putting balls into the box. I haven't seen enough of it at Arsenal. If he gets some more of it then they've got a top top player. Arsenal are 9th in the Premier League, 9 points outside of the Champions League paces and face Everton on Friday night. So it looks like Atletico Madrid star Sao Niguez has held Arsenal midfielder Thomas Pozzi and has stated he can be one of the best in the world. And it looks like Sao Niguez has held incredible Arsenal midfielder Thomas Pozzi and he has made sure that he will become one of the best players in the world but he has stated that one thing that he has to improve in his game massively is the fact that he needs to keep a consistency in his performances. He will have one good game, but then two or three games after that, he will be performing poor, but then again he'll have a good game. And that pretty much sums up Arsenal's season in my opinion, because the one word I can bring from Arsenal's season is inconsistent. And could that just be a direct moral of the way Thomas Partey has been playing this season? So you have to wait and see how Thomas Partey's performances um, pan out until his end of his Arsenal career. But we move on to the second piece of transfer news, which states that Edu is already in advanced talk for Arsenal's third deal ahead of summer transfer window. So the reports are stating that Arsenal set to be busy with the summer transfer window opening as technical director Edu aims to bolster Miklos Sessa's first team squad for next season. Also, are in advanced talks with Brighton to sign goalkeeper Matt Ryan this summer and that is according to Football Insider who claimed that discussions to convert the goalkeeper's loan deal into a permanent transfer are progressing well and are expected to be finalised. Matt Ryan is said to have made a strong impression on the Arsenal coaching staff since arriving during the January transfer window. The 29-year-old was brought in as a backup to Bert Leno and he made his debut in the 1-0 loss against Aston Villa at the beginning of February and was given a surprise start by Mikel Arteta as the Gunners drew with Fulham at the weekend. And despite making just two appearances for Arsenal so far, it would appear that Matt Ryan has done enough to extend his stay in North London and could be one of many signings this summer. Mikel Arteta and technical director Eddie have already begun looking ahead to what is shaping up to be a busy summer transfer window. The Gunners squad planning for the summer transfer window is underway, with several players having uncertainties over the futures at the club. 
in terms of incomings, also are keen to sign Marston Odegaard permanently too. And in boost for the club, the rumoured and attacking midfielder has told those close to him that he would like to stay at the Emirates Stadium beyond the end of this season. It's understood that also would negotiate with Los Blancos and the Norwegian's representatives at the end of the season. Another deal the Gunners were working on ahead of the summer transfer window is one which is a contract extension for following Balogun and the highly rated youngster has reached an agreement on a new deal in North London until 2025 with an announcement imminent and Miklosetta is pleased. It's really important because it shows that he has enjoyed the time he's been training with us and that's why he wants to stay with us, Miklosetta saw Sky Sports. He sees an opportunity here to have the career that he wants in all aspects, he knows that we trust him and that we want to have a future together. And then we need to link that with the people at the club, with the right support from Per and the academy. And with the work that Edu has done over the months to undo what was happening and the direction the situation was taking, he has completely turned that over into a position where now the player is going to stay with us. So if the Matt Ryan reports are true, then Edu is already working on three Arsenal deals ahead of the summer transfer window, two incomings and a contract renewal. You can clearly see that the Gunners need a massive overhaul in my opinion. And if they were to get a lot of income, because that's good, but I think there needs to be a lot of outgoings as well. Because I think when two days ago, if you told me that Matt Ryan was signing a new contract extension, someone that's going to be here at the club for longer, I would say with the Super League, if also are going to get the money, then go with the top, top keeper and maybe play Burton Leno as the number two. If you're going to have the money, you're going to spend it, in my opinion. But it looks like everything's done and dusted, but there's talks that it could restart again. Hopefully not. And the player that we've been advanced talks is with Matt Ryan. And I really do rate the guy. I think he deserves a new contract extension, in my opinion. Even though he hasn't performed well, but I think he has a passion and determination for an Arsenal fan. And he knows what this club means to him. But other than that, guys, remain blessed. Stay tuned for the next video. And peace.